Eco Print Shield is a total breakthrough in a new product. To be able to coat a canvas and not have a solvent, to have it flexible, to have all the qualities that we get in this product, and to have a water base is a total breakthrough. The wonderful thing about this product is that you can roll it. The key to using this product to get good results when rolling it is to make sure your working environment meets this criteria. It's super important that your humidity is between 40 to 60 percent relative humidity and your temperature is between 64 Fahrenheit to 80 Fahrenheit. Preparation for rolling canvas prints with Premier Arts Eco Print Shield. Tools needed for coating canvas. Coating canvas is really a fun process and the first tool that you need is a piece of foam core, white, black, or a piece of mat board, just a smooth board without a texture to it. Corrugated cardboard is not recommended because it has the bumps in it and those bumps will transfer across the surface of the print. Your next is tape to tape your print down to your foam core. Obviously for this type of fun you've got to have a high density foam roller. We're going to start with a four inch roller with a match tray. If you're going to do bigger print, use a bigger roller. A Pyrex cup for doing your dilution and a stir stick, a spoon, chopstick, any way to be able to mix up your dilution complete. Water for doing your dilution. Next is your disposable container. Your unused coatings you do not want to put back in your Eco Print Shield jar, so you need a way to store that so you don't throw that away. And of course, to make this project complete, you need your Eco. agitation of your eco. Don't vigorously shake the product because you don't want to inject more air bubbles into the product. Just rotate the product slowly back and forth and notice when you look at the bottom that you don't have any solids at the bottom. If so, thoroughly mix those. Eco has been designed specifically for spraying. So for rolling, there is an important procedure of dilution. It's 20%. 80% of product 20% of water. We're going to make 10 ounce of final solution, so we're going to use 8 ounce of product and 2 ounce of water. Okay, we're gonna take masking tape and tape down our four corners to our canvas onto the board. Okay, here we, we're taking our diluted Eco, pouring it into our tray. I want you to notice I'm using a little bit bigger roller because I'm doing a bigger print. Do not try to do a 1620 or a 20 by 24 print with a little four inch roller. Get a bigger roller. It's always advisable to start off with two rollers, one wet and one dry. If you happen to put the coating on too thick, you can use a dry one to remove excess before it dries. It's super important that you do not do thick coats with this product. Three thin coats is all that you need. One thick coat will never dry thoroughly and never perform to its optimum. Now when putting the foam roller into the, into the eco in the tray, thoroughly coat the roller, really saturate it. Roll a little bit of the excess off. And then roll the print. Do not try to roll the whole print all at one time. Only try to do one pass at a time, make it even. And then reload your roller. I'm not doing, I don't have any excess downward pressure, only the weight of the roller, and I'm just rolling it until I have evenness with no lines showing. 
And notice in the black area, we have a milky color, but it's not a solid white. That's super important. It's just a milky, translucent milky color, not a solid white. You're gonna, you sometimes see a little bit of lines, and those lines will go away when it dries. You only roll two directions, forward and away from you. If you happen to have lines in your first or second coat, your next coat, just turn the print 90 degrees. Okay, if we have a little excess on, we can take a dry roller. We can actually hit it with a dry roll, pull off some of the excess. I am seeing a little bit of lines here, but that will dry out evenly and our second coat will highlight thoroughly.